second and tangent lines. Given the graph of a function defined by y is equal to f of x, the second line is the line that intersects the graph at two points. The tangent line is the line that intersects the graph at one point only. We are about to begin discussing the topic of derivatives. And, and the reason why we went all through the previous topics, you know, limits, continuity, we reviewed our understanding of the equation of lines and slopes of lines. And the reason for all of that is to prepare us for the topic of the derivative. And so we are about there. We are about to enter the topic that is differentiation or in the broader body of knowledge that is calculus. We call this differential calculus. This is about getting the derivatives. And believe it or not, the derivative, even though it sounds like a, a specialized body of knowledge, it is actually about the slope. It's about change in y over change in x. It's, it's about the rates of change. So given the graph of your function that is shown by the green curve, the red line, L sub 1 is a second line. The blue line, L sub 2 is a tangent line. So given a second line that intersects our graph at points A and B, find the slope of the second line AB. The slope is equal to change in Y over change in X. So it's going to be 3 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. It is equal to 2 over 2 or it is equal to 1. The slope of this line, line AB, uh, that passes through points A and B is equal to 1. Find the slope of the second line. Given a function defined by f of x is equal to 2 times x minus 1 cubed plus 1, find the slope of the second line that intersects the curve when x is equal to 1, and when x is equal to 2. Well, we need to produce two points. But what we are given here are only the x coordinates of a potential two points. So how do we produce the y coordinate of the points of intersection between the second line and the graph of your function? So right now, uh, I think only a few students can see in their mind how the graph of your function might look like. So the situation is something like this. You have the graph of your function, your second line intersects the graph at two points. We need to produce those coordinates, the coordinates of the points of intersection before we can compute for the slope of the second line. So how do we do that? Well, to obtain the y coordinates, what we do is we evaluate, we evaluate the function when x is equal to 1 and when x is equal to 2. f of 1 is equal to 2 times 2 times 1 minus 1 raised to 3. So that is just 0 plus 1. So y sub 1 is equal to 1. So we already have a pair of coordinates for one point. It's 1 and 1. We need another point. So what is y sub 2? Well, we just evaluate the function when x is equal to 2. 2 times 2 minus 1 cubed plus 1. So that is just equal to 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. This gives us a pair of coordinates for another point. It's the point with coordinates 2 and 3. So we can now compute for the slope of the second line. It's change in y over change in x. So change in y, okay, so 3 minus 1, or, 
or 1 minus 3. That also will do. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 1 is equal to 2. So the slope of the second line that intersects uh, the graph of our function when x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 is equal to 2. And so this is the graph of our function and that is the second line.